is what I need to play. You get the feeling out here that Maleva isn't really doing anything to hurt Chrissy. She does everything well. She's got the good two-hander, good forehand. Volley's all right, but doesn't put the volleys away. And Chrissy does everything she does, but she does a little bit better. So unless something drastic goes wrong, Chrissy should come through here. That really was nice pressure by Maleva. It was well struck, and it caught Chris a little off guard, that angle. Mary, Chrissy's got to love to play somebody like this because there's no pressure on her. She knows she can out-steady her from the baseline, out-maneuver her eventually. I'll tell you though, Barry, a few years ago, Chris had nothing but good things to say about Maleva, especially after she lost her. She said, this is one dangerous player. She's got great concentration, Chris said. Very sound ground strokes. Remember, Chris dropped the set to another baseliner just two days ago. Well, I did hear Chrissy say this week that she gets a little tired, gets a little impatient. She doesn't like to play the long points like she did. I think that's did. what happened to her against Katarina Linkvist when she dropped that middle set. in warm-ups and thought she could volley the ball pretty well, Barry. Well, if she can't put the volley away with power, she can certainly put it away with great angles like this. Look at that touch. Beautiful shot. Chrissy barely gets her racket on the ball, but it's going to go out. And perhaps she's saying to, yourself, to herself, I'm not going to overpower her, but I might be able to out-finesse her. Good work if you can get it. <laughs> It's a pretty attackable second serve. And that's her first double fault. Thirty. With uh, no offense to any Bulgarian nationals looking in, it appears that the Maleva family has been tennis in Bulgaria unto itself. Yulia Berberian, nine times, this is Manuela's mother, a national champion over there through 1976. And then Manuela. Exactly. Break point for Chris. There's a younger sister, Magdalena. And Katerina, the middle daughter. Yeah. She's also on the tour. She plays professional tennis as well. Talk about the flying Malevas. <laughs> There's four of them on the female side of the family.
wide. Gain Everett Lloyd. Another break for Chris. Another hard played game. We'll be back after this and from your local system. Everett Lloyd Lee. Quiet, please. Chris Everett Lloyd up two breaks. Three love here on the first set. And young uh, Maleva, the 19-year-old, again played two or three good points in that last game. Still wound up losing the game. That's got to take its mental toll. Love 15. Chris Long with the forehand. Love 15. has uh, taken her sweater off so she's warmed up through three games. having a good look at that ball she thought it might have been long 30. gets caught with that two-hander I still think 50, the 40 backhand approach for a two-hander on a short ball is a tough shot to hit. You let that other hand go, you can slice under it, but Chrissy used the two-hander both times, finally got caught. Two break points for Maleva. Maleva. Double fault for game. <laughs> that is one of the worst games we've seen Chrissy play in the entire tournament. That is so unusual to see her have a game like that. Two or three loose shots and a double she fault for game. You can tell right there she knows it. Well, you have to wonder whether, you know, when things are going so well for her, uh, you know, that she just had a hard time keeping that concentration. I mean, she's got to know she beats this lady you know, all the time, except for that once in Italy. And uh, I think that's her greatest tribute is being able to go out there against these players and play as consistently well as she usually does. Survive the almost inevitable losses of concentration. Again, Ralston and John Lloyd seated at courtside. Drop shot, fails her again. 30 15. And Mary, I've picked up what looks like kind of a wrapping on her hand and thumb. I doubt if she does that all the time. Let's have a look at that. There you see it on her right hand. She's got the sweatlet, but then look. Looks like her thumb is totally bound up there. I wonder if she had an injury.
30 all. 30 all. Let's have a look. That would be tough to play with. Good solid tennis from Aleva. Chrissy picks up a, a half volley from the baseline there. Now here's the forcing shot that gets her into net. A weak lob, and Maleva will put it away. But she's going to have to play like that a lot more to get into this match. Oh! And really, Chris does not want to lose this game and allow Manuela to get into a groove. Chris lost a set that way just two days ago. Leads 3 2 first set. Everett Lloyd leads. Chris Everett Lloyd at three games to two in the first set. Love 15. Chris said of herself at this tournament. When I'm playing well, I'm playing better than ever. But I have more bad days. Chris says, I'm not as consistent as I used to be. So a player like Manuela Maleva becomes dangerous. Through the years, why haven't more of the women players been able to attack Chrissy's second serve? I don't know, Barry. I, I honestly, uh, I, th I think a lot of players do try to attack Chrissy's serve, to be honest with you. I think that's one of the things they try to do very hard. Do you think, though, it's because of the great ground strokes? In other words, you've got to hit such a good shot when you do come in. Like, you know, like coming in against Lindell, you've got to hit a fine shot. You oh, can't just sure. chip and come in. Well, everyone has so much respect for Chris's passing shots that only the certain volley are still comfortable serving and coming in. But Brad goes after her serve. Forty fifteen. Manuela Malevi you're looking at. The number nine seed in the tournament, making it to the quarterfinal round with a victory over the number six seed, Claudia Cota Kilch, and taking on the number two seed in the tournament, Chris Everett Lloyd. Lloyd leading 3 2 first set, serving at 40 15. The winner moves to the semifinals against the winner of the later match, Helena Sukova and Wendy Turnbull. Turnbull, the upsetter of this tournament, eliminating Hanamama Tomo. on Chris's shots than Manuela's. Yeah. He really drilled that two-hander that time. So far, I think that's what is winning the ground, more, the majority of the ground stroke rallies for Chris. A little more bite. And she herself says she's stronger physically. She's been inspired by Martina Navratilova's lead in that department in the women's tennis game, and as many other players have. And for Chris, advancing age, I hesitate to say, at 31, all the more important to be physically fit and strong. Martinez says of Chris that this year she hits with more topspin, she has a better overhead, 
she can actually put the ball away. Martina says Chris is much more threatening. Fifteen, love, Maleva. The whole court that time. Chrissy, watch the angle now. If he all. And well, it gets a tremendous angle off the backhand here. Great get. Chrissy elects to hit the ball up the line. Just scrambled great, but there is an entire court to hit the ball into there. I was surprised 30, she made 15. that forehand. I thought she was not even going to get to that ball. She hustles. Forty fifteen. Live at forty fifteen. One four per set. Tonight on USA's coverage, beginning at 7.30, you'll see the number four seed in the men's draw, Stefan Edberg, against the exciting American Tim Wilkison. Maleva won $271,000 last year. That's not too bad. I wonder what they do with all that prize money, Mary. The Bulgarians able to keep all that, or they have to send some back to somebody in Bulgaria? I think they, they're pretty relaxed in Bulgaria, honestly, Barry. Yeah. I think they're pretty good about that. And let me tell you, Manuela is a superstar in Bulgaria. I bet. Oh, oh. she never hit the forehand. Yes. Manuela is not wacky by nature. You can't say that about her. She's very quiet, very gentle. And her game is sort of the same way. Oh. Great point. Everett Lloyd. Everett Lloyd again. Maleva playing a couple of good points in the game and then winding up in this situation where Chris can take the break. Everett Lloyd. 5-2, Everett Lloyd. First set. Everett Lloyd. Chris Everett Lloyd serving for the set. Best of three. Quarterfinal match against Manuela Maliva, Bulgaria. Talova has already advanced to the semifinal with Steffi Graf, the number three seed. They will meet each other. And as we mentioned, the winner of this to meet the winner of Sukova Turnbull yet to be played in the other quarterfinal. 15 love, Chris Everett Lloyd. Apparently en route to first set victory. 15 all. A lot of people looking forward to that Steffi Graf Martina Navratilova semifinal. I think I saw where Steffi said the other day, I think I can beat her. Steffi feels it's a lot tougher to beat Chris or Martina in the Grand Slams, but I agree with you, Barry. I think she likes her chances. She played awfully well last night, destroying Bonnie Gaduzic. 
The match had lasted only 47 minutes. I just heard a football against Chris Everett Lloyd. Chrissy's lining that foot up. Let's see, what did I do wrong here? I'm surprised she didn't ask the football judge. What did I do? broken and uh, otherwise has been very much in command. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry, what do you think where you Chris are? Everett Lloyd's going to do when she eventually does stop playing competitive tennis? I really don't know. She says what she wants to do more than anything is travel. And when she was asked why, I mean, she's been traveling for non-stop for 15 years, she said, because I've never got to see anything. I'm always playing tennis. I'd love to sightseeing. Answer. You, you've got to assume a world-class tennis player has been around for 10 or 15 years, has been everywhere, has seen everything, done everything, and yet when you analyze it, you get to a town, you start thinking about practicing, where you're going to work out, where you're going to play, and uh, you don't do too many sightseeing tours. I remember a few years ago in Australia, after the Australian Open, Chris and a bunch of friends went uh, went to the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, they went snorkeling and, and all that, and Chris was absolutely astonished that another world such as that existed. She thought she was on another planet, and she's since gone back. This is great Chris Everett Lloyd, two-handed stuff. She sees that wide open court, goes for it down the line, but she brings that ball in from the sideline. That's why it was a winner.
lot of work involved by both women on that point. 40-15. 40-15, Maleva, opening game, second set. Chris Everett Lloyd won the first 6-2. Manuela proved in that last extended rally how light her footwork is. She stayed right in there with Chris, who's got some of the best footwork. Well, I'll tell you, with this camera shot, we've had a good look for the last eight or ten days. It's some great pair of legs, if I do say so myself. And I'm going to vote Chrissy Everett Lloyd's in the top four to five, without question. <laughs> I kind of like Milan Schraber's myself. <laughs> Game Maleva. Game winning point by Maleva. Send those cards and letters to McKay. We'll be back after this from your local system. You might think Stan Smith was at his best winning the major pro tournaments. Just like you might think the USTA is at its best, putting on the U.S. Open. The USTA's best side isn't on TV. It's in your hometown where leagues and programs get whole families involved in tennis and sportsmanship. And Stan Smith's very best doesn't show in tournaments, but at home. Is that right, kids? Right, Dad! Tennis, the sport for a lifetime. Chris Everett Lloyd will serve at Love One here on the second set. She won the first set handily, 6-2, but Maleva, tough game in the opener of the second set, held service. That is quite a record. It's really quite a record considering that the first year in which Chris played, she was only 16. You know, what else was amazing, when she was so young, she played on grass tennis courts at the West Side Tennis Club, and that was not her best surface. Actually, she never won it on grass, Barry. The first year it switched to uh, clay courts, though, that's when she won it. Chris was so astonishing in that first U.S. Open. That's when we first got a look at this great player from Fort Lauderdale. She got all the way to the semis and finally was beaten on the grass by Billie Jean King, who just chipped and charged the whole time. And they had some great matches through the years. Chris Everett Lloyd has been at the top and she has had rivalries with people such as Billie Jean King, Yvonne Gulagong, Martina Navratilova. I mean, she's been through people who are, don't even play any longer. The very beginning of her career, she even faced Margaret Court a couple of times. As a matter of fact, Chris considers one of her greatest wins ever against Court, who at the time was one. One all. I and mean, that's how far back she's she's gone. 31 years of age and holding serve at Love. One all, second set. When Chris beat Margaret Barry, she was only 15 years old. Can you imagine a 15-year-old beating Margaret? Margaret Court, one of the great serve and volley players in women's tennis history.
says Chris Everett Lloyd can't volley. Good stretch volley there. It gets her low. Now, Maleva will line up another passing shot. Chrissy uses the touch, brings the racket off the ball. Perfect drop volley. I'll tell you, she, she is tough up there when she puts her mind to it. And when she gets trapped sometimes, she comes through with better shots than when she has more time to volley. Fifteen thirty as the sun comes out to shine on the ladies. And Maleva bothered by something in the crowd as she was about to make her toss. You could hear Chris quite clearly applauding the good shot. She knew as it came off the racket, she was not going to be anywhere near it. Really is nice looking when Manuela hits her shots. Such a seamless production. Clean strokes. Forty thirty. My nice strokes not only have seams, but they're all on the bias. And often full of holes. Forty thirty, Maleva trying to go two one in the second set. Strong shot. Back to Deuce and a good point by Everett Lloyd. Two. Forty-six minutes they have played into this second set. Chris Everett Lloyd winning the first set 6-2. Advantage Everett Lloyd. Well, it could happen though. She didn't like to call it all. It's got a melancholy baby right there. But with a big forehand like that, Mary, when she hits a couple good winners from the baseline, there's a tendency to keep going for that shot. And it is a fairly risky shot. She overhit that ball. Great point, Everett Lloyd. One all. No, oh, another overhit. So Chris Everett Lloyd goes up two games to one in this second set. She has a set in hand. Chris Everett Lloyd, Manuela Maleva. Again, the winner to meet the winner of the match between Sukova and Turnbull. Wendy Turnbull, so far the upset star of the women's draw, knocking off the defending champion Hanuman Lakova in the fourth round. 6 4 1 6 and 6 3. Sukova, meanwhile, Mary Carrillo's dark horse choice, the number seven seed from Czechoslovakia, has moved smoothly through the draw. Has lost only one set, the middle one to Zena Garrison in her fourth round match. And as we mentioned, Navratilova and Graf are already through to the semifinal round. Maleva, 74% on the first serve, but has not been too Why damaging. Please? To Everett Lloyd, below her norm, but in command of the match. I think it's safe to say that this match lacks fire and intensity. The matchup such that you just know Everett Lloyd uh, has has command, even when she had a few patchy moments. Number two against number nine. Thank you. 
Hannah Monakova was on the is on the bottom half. She was on the bottom half of the women's draw, just where Chris is. Chris lost to her in the semis last year. It's the same type situation. I've got to think that Chris is happy. Hannah got knocked out. <laughs> Hannah's beaten Chris a bunch of times towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year. Dennis Ross. Right there in the lower left hand of your picture, the 1960 Wimbledon doubles champion with the late and great Rafael Osuna. Oh! And Barry, the point I wanted to make was that while Chris has been struggling of late a little bit with Hana, she's got winning records over both. Wendy Turnbull and Helena Sokova in, in a very large way. So it looks like Chris has got herself pretty well set up with the defending champion now out of the top, out of the draw. I talked to Dennis about Chrissy's game and how it is to practice with her and rally with her from the baseline. Dennis says, listen, she hits that ball with as much pace as some of the men. But you know what? Barry, she doesn't hit it as hard in a match cause, as, as in practice, because I've seen her tag the ball time and time again in practice when she is hitting with Dennis. She doesn't bring all of that power out on the court during a match. But often she's not giving the, given the pace with which to do that. Mary, is it you think Martina's got Mike Estep as a coach? Obviously, she works out with him. Chrissy has Dennis Ralston, and obviously, John, too. Do you think it's good for a woman tennis player to work out with a man? Oh, the interesting thing is, Barry, what other women can they practice with? They're the best. <laughs> and that's that's really the, the situation a lot of the times. So, Chrissy, can't who could who could Martina, what, what practice partner could Martina have if it, you know, couldn't be another woman, could it? strong enough. Same with Chris. Deuce. Back to Deuce and we are approaching three o'clock and uh, we will be staying for the conclusion of this match. Those of you expecting to see Liars Club in the Eastern and Central time zones, those of you waiting to see Calliope in the Pacific will keep you updated as to when regular programming will resume. starting to get a lot of balls back and she mentioned she does not like long rallies anymore she doesn't like long matches and suddenly this is looking like it could turn into a bit more work for Chris Everett Lloyd I forgot to mention Tracy Austin as I was going through all of the great champions that Chris played her way through. Tracy, another one, not unlike Manuela. Tracy says she's coming back. She's been off the tour since 1982. She keeps saying she's coming back. It'd be nice to see her again. Chris is still here, though, isn't she? Down the line. 
advantage from Maleva. Another break point for Maleva. Another break point, third of this game. Chris struggling on serve. Second set. Two all. Chrissy started to go over as though it was a game change there. We're running out of our scheduled time for tennis, and uh, again, we'd just like to remind you we will stay with this match to its conclusion. Those of you expecting to see Liars Club in the Eastern and Central Time Zone here on USA, and those of you waiting to see Calliope in the Pacific Time Zone, we'll keep you updated as to when the regular programming will resume. Games are two all here on the second set. Fifteen love. Earlier we watched Yvonne Lendl here on USA advance with a four set victory over Henri Lecon. Lendl into the semifinals. Second double fault of Manuela. She doesn't really try and do a whole lot with that second serve, so she's not going to get into too many double fault problems. Oh! 15.30. Chris surprised a bit, I think, by the depth of that last shot of Maleva's. She was a little late to it. Chris with a chance to break right back.
Good shot. These are just the kind of points she said earlier she does not like to play in. See, I think she's getting just a little impatient. That one running forehand she hit early in this game, way out wide, looked like she was trying a shot that she normally wouldn't try, trying to put the ball away too soon. chance to go up 3-2. Consistent pressure from Manuela. She's hitting the ball quite hard and very deep. Back to deuce. That's a nice initiative by Chris in that last rally, forcing the issue a little bit. It's as you say, Barry. Chris doesn't want to trade ground strokes out here, these young kids anymore. Well, what I'm surprised, Mary, when she has a chance to kind of sneak in, which I thought she did a couple times that last game, she stayed back. Now, right there. Good deep shot. Oh. Out. Yeah, Chris is without, no question. The, the first Chris shot was called out, Tim. I think that's what's causing the booze. Not the second one. It was a late call. Oh, all right. Well, then she had every right to glare a little. <laughs> Advantage, Maleva. describes Chrissy when she gets mad. She says her lips get pressed together, her nostrils flare a little bit. That's when you know she's really very unhappy. And I'm watching It's the her. eyes there. It's the eyes that scare everybody. <laughs> Advantage ever more. Another break point. And again, you just sense that Chris doesn't want this to be a war of attrition. She wants the points to go much more quickly and much more in her favor. She keeps going back and forth. Great shot. Second set. Chris Everett Lloyd leads three games to two. She will be serving here, having a set in hand, 6 2 in the first. A lot of uh, traffic in the aisles now. Right, people Thank coming you. in and out after that long game. So they're trying to get people settled. Clean ace. No call. 15 love. His dad, Jimmy Everett, worked with her as a youngster in Florida, went to Notre Dame. Jimmy was an All-American at Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of that. 
Dallo Columnus. Ooh, solid shot from Oh, Maleva, what a reply from Everett Lloyd. That was, those were two crunchers. Nobody hits that two-hander down the line any better than Chris Everett Lloyd. Look at the control. She kind of stopped her racket on the follow-through there, Mary, and controlled that ball up the line. Great two-hander. trapped into a one-handed backhand that time. The ball kind of jumped high. And that's the first time I've seen her hit with one hand. She can do it. Kind of get the feeling Christie's just said, okay, I've been out here long enough now. Let's get this thing over with. Okay, uh, guys, I'm going to give you the roster of the Bulgarian Federation Cup. Captain, coach, practice partner, Yulia Barbarian. That's Manuela's mother. mother right. Number one for the team, Manuela Maleva. Number two, Katerina Maleva. There's one more player, Dora Rangelova, who plays on this team. Okay, now, now check this out. Second round of the Federation Cup. Bulgaria against France. Manuela Maleva wins her first rubber. Katerina wins her second, so they've already won it. There's a double, a dead double. I mean, they've already clinched it. They put Yuli in. The captain, the captain and coach, yes, Yulia decides that she wants to rest her players. She hops in there and plays with the junior, Dora Rangelova. Did they win? She said, we lost, but we did pretty good. We won four games. Well, Yulia was a great champion. Nine times the Bulgarian champion. Love 30. Everett Lloyd pressing Maleva. Love 30. Not like that cross court. Fifteen thirty. how many tennis courts are on Sophia? <laughs> they might be the only four Bulgarians who play. <laughs> that was a possibility. Fifteen forty. Two break points for Everett Lloyd. She holds. She'll serve for the match. Nope. Oh. Thirty. Now Eva saves one. The winner to the semifinals against the winner of the match between Sukova and Turnbull still to come. Oh! Called wide. Game ever Chris, she was glad to see that ball float because she was working hard. Chris will serve for the match when we return after this from your local systems. A lot of people think of me for my serves, just like they think of the USTA as the US Open. But there's a lot more to it than that. That's the way. Hi, Mom. The USTA has programs for pro as well as recreational players. Clinics and tournaments for kids and their parents. So as you can see, there's a lot more to the USTA than the Open. Just like there's more to Pam Shriver than just her serve. Hi, Mom. Tennis! The sport for a lifetime!
We are back with Chris Everett Lloyd serving for the match. Love 15. And missing wide left. Of 15. Manuela Maleva from Bulgaria, 19 years of age. Upset Claudia Kota Kilch to make it to these quarterfinals. A good tournament for the youngster. But appears to be on her way up. For a while, early in the second set, Maleva started to wear Chrissy down. And then suddenly Chris but much tougher from the backcourt. Game not coming easily to Chris. Come in on that ball. She does. Great shot. That's point. 43. One of the few times Chrissy has noticed that she could come in behind a good forehand. Semi-finals, the number two seed, her husband John Lloyd, her coach Dennis Ralston, and she now awaits the winner of the match between Turnbull and Sukoba with Avertilova and Steffi Graf already into the other semifinal. We'll return to meet Chris Everett Lloyd, get her comments about this match when we return. Well, let's go down to courtside. Chris Everett Lloyd with Mary Carrillo. Nicely done, Chris. That, that was a, probably your hardest ground stroke opponent. Manuel has great ground stroke, especially her backhand cross court. And uh, I knew, I mean, I, I was actually surprised at the score, two and two, because I thought um, I played her two weeks ago and it went three sets. And, and, you know, I was patient. I was down a lot of 40 15 games in the beginning that I pulled out, you know, and if I would have lost those games, it could have been a longer match. You keep playing base liners. Uh, <laughs> Now that Hanna is, is out of your half of the draw, you must be looking towards Martina, a servant volleyer. Do you wish you, you could play a servant volleyer next? Yeah, but I will. <laughs> Whoever I play, either Wendy Turnbull or Helena Stokova will be a servant volleyer. I wish I could have played a few left-hand players, you know, just in case I do reach the final. But I would have liked to play because I didn't really play any servant volleyer, so I really couldn't return a lot of good first serves. You know, I play a lot of baseliners, like you said. But I've been practicing with John and Dennis Ralston, and they've got pretty big serves. <laughs> that Hanna lost, I mean, that had to relieve you a little bit. She's the one who knocked you out last year. Yes, but on the other hand, you know, I was sort of looking forward to playing her because I did lose to her at Wimbledon. And I don't, you know, I don't fear anybody anymore. I know I definitely can be beaten on certain days. And I know on certain days I'm going to win. But um, it's always a challenge when I play her because she's, she is a great player. And... Uh, she really is very aggressive, and I think our games complement each other. So, um, you know, it's disappointing in a sense, but on the other hand, Rabbit's a good friend of mine, so I was happy for her. Going into the semis last year uh, compared to this year, are you feeling a lot stronger? I certainly feel more relaxed, you know. I mean, this is the most relaxed I've ever felt in an open. I don't know if that's good or bad. It could work against me. It could work for me. I'm usually 
like so tense every time I drive out here and I see the crowds and I see the stadium and the noise and and this year I've just been real relaxed I play my matches I go back to the hotel we go out to dinner go to a movie and um, I've uh, you know maybe I've just been through it so many times that I am relaxed and just so when I'm on the court you know I can get tense and, and really worked up you, the last time you won the Open was in 82 you feel really strong about this one well I feel good after um, Los Angeles because I, I played a good tournament there and I had a real good match with Martina. I'm just happy the last two years that I've sort of reached her level and I'm not saying I'm as good as her but at least we've had closer matches and because I was getting killed by her before and so I'm just happy that the matches are close and but we both have to reach the final. She has a tough match against Steffi Graf and if we should reach the final you know I hope it's a good match. Thanks Chris. Thanks Mary. Thank you, Mary Carello, Chris Everett-Lloyd, and Chris advances 6-2 and 6-2 to the semifinal. We'll return. <laughs>